Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We have that our a square minus b square equal to 9, a b equal to 3, and we need to find our sum a plus b. How can we find it? Of course, it looks like an easy problem. We can like solve it in one minute because it's not a huge number. This is, looks like a school formula. If we have a product, so not huge. So it looks like we find our answer real quick. But it's not how it is because we need to find a really, really good trick right here. And about this trick, I'm going to show you later. But first of all, let's try to get closer and closer to this sum because we have a, a square. We don't need this square. We can find our a plus b without the square and we need it. But first of all, let's find more element that we need. Firstly, let's write it a square minus b square. Let's square this left hand side. So let's work with this, with this first equation. Let's square this left part equal to 9 square. Okay, if we squared it, we will have really interesting moment because this is our formula a minus b square. So we will have first squared a square we have squared minus or we write it as plus b square uh, change in order a little bit and minus 2a square times b square this is our formula formula from school and 9 square equal to 81 and right now we can see really interesting moment because if you know about power rule so power rule that we need right here x to the power m raised to the power n it will be equal to x to the power m times n. So we need this rule in this moment. We need to multiply it right here and right here because we rate it. Let's do this. We will have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and minus 2. And I want to write it as a square b square as a times b squared. We can do this because this is a product. This is a property with a power equal to 81. Okay, I hope you understand this step. Nothing hard as for me and I, I guess for you as well because this is like a school school algebra and we go step by step to our answer. So we have firstly our sum of force power. We don't have information about this, but we have information about the product AB. AB equal to 3. So we can easily find the sum of force power right here. So firstly A to the force plus B to the force minus 2 times right here 3 square equal to 9 equal to 81 okay and if we bring these 2 times 9 on the right hand side we can find that a to the force plus b to the force equal to equal to 99 because 18 plus 81 will be 99 so we find this information that the sum of force power equal to equal to 99 and it's really good let's let's leave this right here maybe we'll we'll need this later okay what we need next we need to know a really important identity. How this identity looks like? x, x square plus y square equal to x plus y square and minus 2xy. Okay, this identity we really need it right now because this is really important identity. And right now we don't have this x square y square, we have a square and b square. So our x equal to a square, let's work with the value that we have. And our y equal to b square. So we have this value, so we need to work with this one. We need to work with this value. So let's plug in these elements right here. What we'll have? We will have that our a square squared plus b square squared equal to a square plus b square squared and minus 2a square times b square. So we just change these variables, the variables that we need, of course, because we work with a and b. Okay, what are we going to do next? Right here, if we raise this to the square, if we square this element and this one, we will have a to the force plus b to the force. a to the force plus b to the force equal to, right here, I leave it the same, so a square plus b square of course squared and minus I write it as minus 2a square times b square. So I hope you understand this step. We just raise our first element to the fourth power. And if we look closely to this, a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, we know that this will be equal to 99. So this is equal to 99. Right here we don't know information about this about these parentheses and we don't know information about this one. But moreover if we write it as a times b square, 
we will know that we will have 3 square because a times b equal to 3. So what information we know from here? This one 99 equal to a square plus b square squared and minus right here 9 minus we will have minus 18 minus 18 and moreover our sum will be equal to a square plus b square we will have squared equal to 117 so we find that our thumb a square plus b square equal to 117 but how can you find from here our a plus b let's take square root on both sides we will have that our a square plus b square equal to square root of 117 of course with the plus minus and moreover this will be equal to 9 times 13 so this will be equal to plus minus 3 times square root of 13 so we find that our thumb of squares a square plus b square equal to to this value but we need a plus b we don't need these squares but we need if you know a little bit about identity so our identity that we need is right here a plus b squared equal to a square plus 2ab and plus b square and take a look closely to this a square plus b square we will have 3 times square root of 13 and of course we, we, we know this product so we can easily find our our a plus b let's do this let's find it so we will have a plus b squared equal to a square plus b square i wanted to regroup it at first and plus 2 a b okay a b equal to 3 so from 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 the beginning a b equal to 3 the sum of two squares we will have this one plus minus plus minus 3 square root of 13 and of course what we will have right now we will have two options two cases right here because this will be equal to a plus b squared will be equal to 3 times 2 will be equal to 6 6 plus minus 3 square root of 13 okay this will be equal to that to that one i want to write it in another order and right now as you can see right here we'll have two options with the plus sign and with the minus sign so with the plus sign we'll have of course positive value and but with the minus sign this value on the right hand side will be negative one so we reject this negative right here because in this one this will be negative but moreover we have a square on the left square need to be positive so we need to work only with positive positive sign so we'll have a plus b squared equal to 6 plus 3 square root of, of 13 and of course the last step let's apply square root on both sides we'll have a plus b equal to plus minus square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 13 so a little bit a little bit complicated answer but this is how it is this is our answer and we need to we need to know it this is our solution to this problem i hope you understand this explanation complicated problem of course it's not like an easy problem it's not like a trick that we solve it in like 30 seconds and of course i hope you understand this step if you pause the video or if you watch this video once more you will easily understand this trick you will easily understand every of this moment because this is not like a hard moment this is moment like we need to solve it step by step step by step nothing hard nothing nothing hard steps but a lot of steps right here power rule identities this identity we need right here we need this identity right here this classic identity and of course we need to know it because without these identities we cannot solve this problem i hope you understand this explanation if you don't understand write your write your question in comment write your suggestion in comment i i hope you understand it because this is a really good problem this is an important problem because we learn a lot of properties power rule this is not integral derivative a lot of hard integral derivative right here this is like a school problem which is really in, in improve our math knowledge really good problem and i hope you you understand this question thank you so much for watching leave any comment put like i really appreciate it it helps me a lot to make a new interesting problem and i see that you 
you enjoy my content it, it inspires me a lot and i really appreciate it thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos